the ooh armature and muscle description. What you will find looking at pictures of many of the great saxophonists, jazz and classical, is what I call a bunch in the bottom lip. Using the ooh armature, the bottom lip bunches up and forms a cushion for the reed vibrations rather than a focal point of pressure, i.e. lots of bottom lip curling over the teeth type of armature. The frown in the famous Coltrane picture is his risorious muscles on the side here, working with the ambicularis oris, which is the orifice muscle which surrounds the mouth. Those are the muscles that are used to form ooh, when we just naturally say ooh. A clarinet, a more, a clarinet armature um, uses more of the later menti muscles. These right here, working with the bottom part of the abicularis oris forming this type of armature as compared to when we say ooh, the rasorius muscles work this way to form the ooh. There is a big difference be between clarinet and saxophone armatures. There are still what's known as double lip armature players, meaning that the top teeth don't touch the mouthpiece. They're cushioned by the upper lip, and the bottom lip also curls over the bottom teeth, forming a mirror image, much like a double reed player. But the contemporary saxophone armature has the teeth touching, not biting, the top of the mouthpiece, while the bottom lip should form an ooh shape, as if saying ooh. I believe the bottom lip should not pull down taut towards the chin, but naturally cushion the vibration of the reed in the ooh position. Think of the ooh embouchure as the muscular, muscular equivalent of an O-ring seal, an O-ring seal around the mouthpiece. So in very general terms, clarinet embouchure is taut bottom lip curled over a bit, saxophone embouchure bottom lip out in the ooh position. I'll show you the difference right here. Then you'll be able to <clears throat> hear the difference because remember, the bottom lip, you're relieving pressure off of the reed so that it can naturally vibrate. So here is using a clarinet armature. And the ooh armature. is naturally vibrating. Once again, if your students are using more of a clarinet armature, that's why they're always sharp, because it pinches and uh, dampens the vibration of the reed. That's why you're always asking your students to pull out, pull out, because they're playing sharp. Now, what the U armature does is that it relieves that tension and lets, lets the note actually go flat, so you can compensate by actually pushing in. How about that? A saxophone playing in tune and not sharp. It has mostly to do with the embouchure, and it is the ooh formation that really helps. <laughs>